Hi everyone, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. This is Melanie and today I am sharing with you the SET Sampler Kit for the month of May. So I'm going to show you what I got and then I'm going to get to crafting and show you what I made with it. So the theme for this particular week is friends. It says side by side or miles apart. Crafty friends are always close to the heart. Included in the kit we received this stamp set or I received this stamp set from Heidi Swap. Um, it's a great little uh, journaling kind of stamp set, so excited about that. We also received a traveler's notebook, although this does seem a little bit um, wider than a traditional one. This is called Custom Traveler's Notebook Made with Rainbow and Blossoms, um, which I'm guessing is from the Jen Hadfield collection, Reaching Out, which we're going to show you next, what we received from there. So for the papers, again, this is a quarter of a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. We got the rainbow and then there's this floral on a wood grain, this kind of um, retro floral almost. It's got a feel to it. And then the gingham houses, she's kind of known for those. And then a green leaf and then a larger floral on a yellow plaid. Two by two cut apart. She's also known for these, which make great sentiments on cards. And then this kind of uh, rainbow scallop, uh, the coffee mugs, and then a rainbow stripe dot. So got some of these thickers. Uh, you are my sunshine. Thanks. Love you. And then the floral piece. And we also received these stickers. And these actually are thicker than the traditional stickers you get in these small packs. So that's kind of exciting. Usually they're just kind of paper thin. I think all of these ephemera pieces belong to the Jen Hadfield collection. Um, the colors are very similar to the Simple Stories Safe Travels collection, which I'm going to show you next, but I'm, I'm thinking these are the ones that coordinate. Okay, as I mentioned, we received a Safe Travels collection from Simple Stories. So there is the luggage set. On the back side is a random dot on this uh, teal color. We got the airplanes, a blue stripe, a bluish floral, which is kind of refreshing, and then a orangey color with the off-white dots, a chevron, geotags, another rainbow dot, and then a sort of floral and vine piece. I think that's it. And then uh, from their sticker book, I received the alphas, which is uh, the tile alphas as well as the um, regular alphas. Now these are thin. These are paper thin. From the 3x4, 4x6 and other elements, <laughs> I received the little Vespa scooter card travel notes. It's always time. The time is always right now to do what is right. We are the change we wish to seek. And back has a script on it. We got weekend vibes and then the car. And then this has a floral. And then the ephemera pieces that I received, I believe these ones are from this collection. You can see the colors are very similar and we did receive some of the enamel dots. Okay, so that is what I received this month. Let's see what I can make with them. Okay, so I finished playing. It took me a little longer than I thought because I went in a different direction than what I thought. I did not use the stamp set, although I probably could have. I just didn't think about it. I have this thicker that's left over. This is just going to go in my stash. Same with these tear apart sentiments. Just going to go in my stash. I have a few of the alphas left, not a whole lot. To be honest, I'm not going to keep these. This is just going to get recycled. Of course, I have my card and this is all I have for scraps. So I pulled a card base from my stash. So the paper layered had already been laid down and I added this love ya. Isn't that a perfect match? And then I just pulled these gold hearts. These are from Freckled Fawn from my stash as well. It looks like they might need a little bit of glue behind them but this card is done. Another card start. Um, this time I just added the sentiment, but I still need some sort of focal point. So this is going back in my card start bin. 
And then I also made this card. Again, this is from the SET kit. The rest of this was already pre-made. And I don't think I'm going to do anything else with this card. So this one I'm going to consider done. So what I did was I took the Traveler's Notebook and I actually took out the two staples because I thought it would be easier to work with. And I titled it Hello Change. And the reason why I did that is because I actually am needing some changes in my life, both health-wise and just, you know, I just need to clean up my apartment, purge stuff. I'm just in that real phase of my life where I just want to shake things up. And I actually started another YouTube channel. It's called It's Time, Melanie. So if you're interested in checking that out there is a link in the description below and it's just me kind of working through some of the things in my life that I need to improve on and I'm just hoping that um, by documenting it it will motivate me to you know finally deal with some of these things especially some of the areas around my health okay so I use the clip up at the top to add the flower sticker sheet so obviously I haven't used the sticker sheet yet but I don't see why I won't and then I have a three by four cut apart card that I just um, tacked in here as well just waiting for the right opportunity so yes yeah, so I did take the book apart and I did number the even pages so you'll see it's like two four six eight just so I wouldn't lose track of what's what and I'm not gonna staple it back together until I'm finished because again I think it's just easier to work with it when it's open I can pull out a sheet right on it add things without having to worry about what's beneath it so I'm just calling this a healthy journey it's um, healthy, not just like from a physical health, but mental health, um, you know, just everything that needs to be tackled. I want to tackle in the at least start to tackle in the rest of this year. So I am starting in June documenting, of course, like I said, I already have the channel, so I'm already starting, but I want to start documenting it in June. So what I did was every month I plan to take a photo, um, include some key measurements. Basically, I'm just going to track my weight and my blood pressure. Um, that's only going to be once a month. I'm not weighing myself daily, weekly, any of that. Um, I get too fixated on the number and I don't think that's healthy, but I do think that seeing that you're headed in the right direction is encouraging. I then created a tracker for movement so I've got three months here and then the remaining four on this side and I'm not setting a specific you need to walk um, you know 10,000 steps a day or you know you need to exercise three days a week or whatever my goal is just whatever my intentions are for that week for movement whether it's walk 20 minutes or do a stretching exercise whatever it is that I intend to do if I meet that intention I'm going to consider that a success basically I'm trying to set myself up so that I don't demotivate myself I have a bad habit of being all in and then when I don't achieve things I fall out drastically on this sheet here, I did pull some stuff from my stash. Um, I had a bunch of those planner stickers, so I thought I might as well use them in here. Um, I could either add pictures of, you know, things that I've done along the way or quotes or whatever, whatever I want. This page is free to do with whatever I choose. I am also setting up something called water before soda. So I am addicted to soda. I love it. I could drink it all day long. I drink way too much of it and I have cut it out in the past for a period of time but then I went back to it and I guess eventually I would like to get there where I'm not consuming it I just there's nothing healthy about soda so um, it, it's where I ultimately would like to be but I understand that that's not necessarily realistic to do it all in one shot and so what I'd rather encourage myself to do is drink my water first and then if I manage to do that then I can have some soda and maybe I won't even be thirsty anymore and then not want it. So I've got um, days set up to check where I have consumed my water before soda. This doesn't necessarily mean I have to drink all my water. If I don't drink all my water and I don't drink soda then that's okay too. Uh, these were again planner stickers. There are a couple months where I needed an extra spot so I just used a stamp and then I just 
uh, embellished with more of those stickers from some planner sticker books that I had. And then I've got a space for July. I have a page here that I call relationships and in the kit came this sticker that said all in this together. I know that was more in reference probably to what's happened the past year, but I'm looking at it more in that um, relationships and togetherness and stuff all forms part of your mental health. And so what I would really like to do, or my intention, is to have consistent contact with friends and family. And so what I thought I would do here is just document when I've, when I've reached out to people and intentionally made a contact with people. Most of my friends and family live elsewhere, but I do have a, some a closer relationships here in the Los Angeles area. Those are easier to keep in contact with. It's the people that are far away that are a little bit more difficult. I'm calling this one Sugar Vacation. I know I'm a sugar addict. I've done the Whole30 challenge before where I cut sugar out and I felt amazing. And I let it back into my life and um, it wreaked its habit yet again. So I do want to cut out added sugar. I'm not talking about sugar that's in fruits you know, fruits and vegetables and that kind of thing, but added sugar, you know, that can be found in cakes, cookies, all that kind of stuff. So I would like to see some improvement where I have more days without sugar. Yeah, and ultimately what I would like to see is improvement. So that maybe by the end of the year, I'm hardly consuming any sugar, although that, that was my downfall last time was Christmas. And all of the baking and stuff that happened in that month, this one here, I'm using the banner that came in the kit that says away from the Wi-Fi as a prompt more for time management. I would like to watch less TV, less YouTube, less Instagram, all of those kind of things. And so I would like to try and make more productive use of my time. Now here's the problem. I am pretty productive and I will often have the TV running while I'm crafting and I'm okay with that. To me that's not what I'm trying to eliminate. I'm trying to eliminate the sitting on the couch for you know an hour and a half where I've done nothing but flip through Instagram accounts and watch Wi-Fi. So I would really like to uh, make a concerted effort to try and cut back on that or at the very least be more intentional in the time that I devote. If I intentionally decide to sit down for an hour, that's fine. Um, but that I'm conscious of it and, you know, stop when the hour is up. How, how the documenting is going to look, I'm not sure, but I've allotted space for that. I have the photo spot for August. This site here is pretty much blank, so I could just include photos of, you know, me walking or things that I find inspiring, quotes, etc. Anything to kind of help encourage me along the way. Same with this layout and this one. They're open to interpretation. So for this one here, I had some stickers that kind of were for meal planning. And meal planning is one of my... my... Achilles heels, I guess, or one of the things I don't really like to do. I don't like to cook. And so not so much that this is going to be a meal plan for a week, but I thought it would be fun to kind of document some of my favorite go-to meals that if I'm in a pinch, I can um, just reference and pull from here. So recipes that I either know in my head or combinations of food items that I know I can whip, to whip a meal together really easily. So that's what I thought I would put here and then maybe add a photo or something of one of my favorite dishes. Another photo opportunity, open spread, open spread for October. So lots of opportunities to take this in whatever direction that I want to go in. I did create another food opportunity here. Um, same idea, just have some suggestions, not necessarily that this is a meal plan per se, but just kind of go to recipes. And then on this side, I had this shopping list. And really what I want to do is I want to create a list of staples of items that I know I will use in 
consistently in the different meals that I like to make and have a listing of these that I can use kind of as a shopping list so that I know, for instance, when I'm down to one can of black beans that I need to purchase a couple to stock up. Again, just trying to be a little more proactive in my approach around um, food and trying to also financially watch for sales and stuff like that. It's not that I can't pay for things and that I'm, you know, pinching because I have to. I just want to be more fiscally responsible. And then we end with December and then the last page, um, I thought maybe at the end of all of this, I could reflect back and make some comments. I did call this a healthy journey to play off some of the travel themed items. I think it'll work. It's kind of fun. It's just for my own reference, like I said, and I'm really happy that I have this set up. Now it's just a matter of keeping track, ticking things off and adding things to make this my own little piece of motivation. So that is it for the SAT sampler kit for the month of May. I hope you enjoyed. If you got the kit, what's your plan for the journal? I'd love to hear what you're going to use it for. And until next time, happy crafting.